So I started flying line of sight RC airplanes like 1992, the glow engines. Flying FPE multi rotors. Took a long break doing other stuff and decided to do FPV wings. And I'm on like my sixth generation of radio system. That was the last line of sight radio that I had it was a Spectrum. And then when I was flying my drones, FreeSky, Tyrannus. So yeah, I think the radio system is the most important decision. Um, and I decided to just get the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS. I never had the Team Black Sheep system that had long range 2.4, this ELRS. This will go up to one watt transmission and dynamically step up. So in my Adam RC Swordfish, I've got do a diversity antenna, uh, radio master receiver. That's the radio master ELRS receiver. It's the RP4TDM. Uh, this is the box that my jumper T15 radio came in. And the reason I chose this, um, well, I wanted an ER, ELRS 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Um, and this is a lot like a Radio Master Boxer, but there are three things that I like better about the jumper radio, and that is the foldable, foldable antenna, the color screen, here's the foldable antenna, and so here's the foldable antenna. The color screen, I don't have turned on. And lastly is, I guess the Boxer has two different USB ports, one's for charging, but this just has one and it does both things. I chose to go with the Wax Nail system. It's probably the second most critical thing they choose when you're flying um, FPV is your radio system and your video system. They have to be able to support somewhat long range. And uh, the Wax Nail seems to become somewhat of a standard and they're not breaking backward compatibility like DJI. So that's the reason I went with it. And Fat Shark supporting uh, the walk snail system in their goggles. So it seems like a good choice. And I put a, also a digital um, pan camera on my video. My video is a walk snail um, avatar GT system. And it can go up to two watts and double you know, diversity transmitter. It's got onboard, there's an SD card slot there. It's got onboard recording with Gyroflow, as well as the ground station. I just got the VRX, because on, these are very old. Uh, the very first version of, that Fat Shark made of HD goggles. It actually does work. The picture is not great, but that got me started um, this VRX has recording with the SD card slot as well right there. The motors are, I took a chance on, brand I never heard of, Flyfish RC, 2506, uh, 1550 KV. That's right near the spec of what, um, Adam RC recommends. So I wanted something a little higher quality. And then I put a Speedy B F405 wing light controller in there. Uh, here's the box. Very nice um, packaging and flight controller. Tons of options. You can't see them, but I have uh, Luminaire 30 amp ESCs running D-Shot. Um, they're BL Heli S. I'm just really familiar with those. I got digital servos because I wanted to run um, faster. Upgrade Energy Lithium Ion Pack. It's a five amp pack and it balances, it fits very well in the Swordfish, balances really well.